basically an arts organization that is um, very much dealing with new media art, um, art that is kind of crossing into sometimes even science or really deeply technology, um, technology informed um, art. We have a strong focus on um, the Arctic Circle or the Subarctic Circle um, for the last few years now. There's also been a deep interest into working with all different types of sorts of migration. Migration just as a as a point of uh, actually as a point of interest. The focus before was really very much more into the Canadian Arctic, also the Alaska, and um, really not enough work was done within the within this European within this European part. Like, what is really common is that you know, uh, let's say the the southern white people come to the Arctic and they kind of do whatever they want to. Typically scientific you know, exploration. We come there, we take our measurements, we take them back to the south, we analyze them and we present them here in the south. This is not something we really wanted to, to do. It's really what we, what really connects is that we really are doing much to this face-to-face -face transmission and development. So it's everything is very much based on not really creating that much of an informative platform, something that some kind of a meta tool to to transfer all this kind of knowledges and, and views and, and what we call technologies or um, approaches to to dealing with the with the changes. Either this kind of um, geo, geopolitical or, um, or um, actually or technological changes um, or even as we call it, changing weathers even though we take it more as in changing times ever changing times it's kind of more of a metaphorical meaning to it. Uh, we are trying to really work with the local communities um, however you kind of pick from that so um, and also communities that are maybe dispersed and putting them just maybe into a different kind of environment and trying to get everybody together and kind of work really get a community that is maybe not just existing on mostly on the internet but to get these people to a camp have them there um, and really kind of have a week or so of just working together as a, a usually this is one of those, this kind of amazing tools beautiful experience but also the knowledge transfer there the, 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 the shifts in people's minds this are this is usually something you know this kind of way of just kind of isolating yourself from where you usually are and getting different people together that connect and some kind of way they can just connect in that man, on so many levels then you know once you talk about working with the communities in the north it's always well you know it's gonna take much more time and effort actually than you can actually anticipate you know it, you, you really want to you can't just come there and pay one visit and then that's it you you want to kind of keep in touch even before otherwise you doing something that you try to do and it's going to be totally irrelevant or not informed and not really interesting in any way so um, you got to do your field work in any way you want so it's a diff it's a shift in the fo in focus so um, in, in, and that kind of puts everything into a different perspective like in just time wise you know, we usually talk about our own defined time and geology has a totally different uh, time to, to what we're really, uh, what our everyday lives are actually. Um,